We're bleeping that. Everybody saw it happen and security was they, yeah. they called you out. A non-binary child. That is fine. not okay. It's just tell your story. The president came, everybody came. And I like walked by like, thank you. Thank you for keeping us safe. He said, am I gonna get canceled? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> You're gonna say hi or what? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Samantha Lux and my mumsy here. Hi. My mumsy is back. I did her beautiful makeup. She looks beat down the house. Caked. Caked Gucci. and baked. And Gucci. Baked. Gucci. <laughs> she said, I, I'm going Gucci today. Going. That's it. That's the right thing. No, it's not. And I brought my mother back because, um, I mean, you guys wanted me to. So we did a video together a couple months ago and yeah. it was a lot of fun. And everybody loved you. So I'm like, you have to come back. People are missing you. Today's video, we're going to chit chat a little bit. I'm going to ask her some questions. We're going to talk about some fun stuff. And I'm going to do this makeup on her. Because why not? Duh. I've always wanted to. And this is a good excuse to do it. We post new videos. <laughs> we post new videos. I post new videos every week here on my channel for me. Thank you so much. So make sure to subscribe if you guys are not already and you would like to be. Go ahead. I shall wait for you, right, Mumsy? We'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. And now let's get into it. Go wipe this makeup off. Okay. We're gonna start over. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> You're just here with your fan ready to go. I am. By the way, I'm not a makeup artist, so this is not gonna be like how to do your mom's makeup or something like that. This is just gonna be me doing my makeup routine on my mom. So don't be like, you should do this for people that like have mature skin. Not that you have, <laughs> not, that you have not that you have mature skin, but you know, people are critics. Are they gonna critic me? No. Okay. There's, what is there to critic? Look how good my hair looks. It's a wig. <laughs> I think we should talk a little bit. Oh, I don't have your color. I don't have your shade in it. You're gonna be kind of pale. It's okay. You're gonna be embracing your Asian heritage. Close your eyes. I like closing my eyes. You're like, I don't have to see anything. Mm -hmm. So we just got back from Out and Equal. Do you want to tell the people what Out and Equal is? Yes. So Out and Equal is an organization that supports workplaces for LGBTQ people. And once a year, there is an annual summit, either on the East Coast or West Coast of the United States, where companies come together and gather and create community and learn and drink wine and it's great. <laughs> yes. It's great with my eyes closed. <laughs> I could do your makeup with your mouth closed. Just kidding. Your friends love me so you better be nice. We've coined her Mumsy Lux. I made her a little keychain that says Mumsy Lux on it. So that's her name now. But anyways, yeah, Out and Equal, super fun. It's like a workplace <laughs> summit. <laughs> you can open your eyes, yes. Usually about 5,000 people that go to this summit, but this year there was only about 3,500 because we kept it to partner our organizations only because you know it was in the land of disandemonious <laughs> isn't quite the the most friendly place for lgbtq people so we were kind of in the disney bubble close your eyes yeah it, was, it did feel very safe i will say i was a little bit worried about it because like my mom said it was in disney but it was fine since we're on the topic of safety i want to quickly tell you guys about today's sponsor aura which is an amazing software that keeps your identity safe online in the deepest darkest corners of the web being a trans person especially a visible loud proudly open trans person being online can be a little bit scary i do my best to keep my private info private but sometimes it's a little bit hard to do so i'm sure a few of you out there also have gotten those spam phone calls we've been trying to reach you or spam sent to your house even and if you have that means that somebody out there has your phone number, has your info. Aura can identify brokers exposing your info and automatically submit opt-out requests to those brokers, which is extremely hard to do. If you've ever tried to do it yourself, it is nearly impossible. Aura also offers software for parental controls, VPNs, password management, identity theft insurance, and it's all bundled together for a very affordable price. Love a bundle. Aura has made it so easy for me to stay safe online and especially to my LGBT viewers, please stay safe out there. It is a scary world right now. You can use my link to Aura and get two weeks for free to find everybody on the dark web that has your information literally right after I signed up for the two-week session I had like a list of people that had my information and now they don't thank you so much Aura for sponsoring today's video and for keeping us all safe and now let's get back into the video <laughs> it looks very bright this is the one size beauty translucent powder it's just a little I put a lot on so yeah I they did a really good job with security it was triple security even the, the airports had extra security and Orlando's generally friendly to LGBTQ people but Florida is not we had to have our badges like at every point and like they're called credentials yes you had to have our credentials which is like a name tag that shows that you're supposed to be there and everything like that so you had to have that at all times so there were people that were like walking around trying to just get through the hotel that didn't have badges on and my one eyes of are closed you know oh sorry i was trying to walk in these people mm. were trying to walk through i think 
And they were like, no, like you have to go around. There's an event happening right now. Like you're not allowed in. And then they turned around and started like swearing about it. They were like, oh, this fucking shit. Like we've got to shut this down. It's a little intense for a moment there, but everybody saw it happen and security was really good. Yeah, they were really good. They were like, no, you no, they don't booted. care. And I like walked by, I was like, thank you. Thank you for keeping us safe. Other people talked to them, said something to them too. Really? Yeah, that saw it happen. So shout out to Linda, who is the head of security at Disney. Shout out to Linda. Shout out to Erin. We shout love Shout out Aaron. to Erin. And all of the staff at Out and Equal for yeah. keeping us safe and getting a great community environment. Yeah, for sure. It's always great every year. We've been going for probably this five years. This was your seventh year. No. Yeah. That's crazy, seven years. Mm -hmm. We've been storytelling with Samantha Lux for seven years. Oh my God, I met a bunch of you guys at the panel. It was so cute. Oh my God, remember the father that came up to us? Oh my God, I'm just not gonna be like. The father that came up to us during the gala and was like, oh, I watch your videos with my daughter. My daughter like sends them to me and like, mm -hmm. she says that, oh, you have to watch this one. You have to watch this one. Oh, they watch them together. Aww. Ching, shout out to you. You and your dad are so cute. Yes. Shout out to the dad from Toyota. We love an ally parent. Shout out to all the ally parents mm -hmm. that watch. And we had a bunch of ally parents tell their stories in our workshop too. Yes, yes mm -hmm. they did. I love it. Oh. So we call it storytelling with Samantha Lux. And that's it. Let me tell them. I'm using the one size um, eyeliner. This is actually Patrick Star's brand. You know Patrick Star? I know Jeffrey Star. Let's learn that we're bleeping that. We're bleeping that. He's canceled. Brother? No. So this is the Point Made Bodacious Black Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Shout out to Patrick Starr, thank you so much. Okay, continue, sorry. Do a workshop called Storytelling with Samantha Lux. This was Storytelling 7 with Samantha Lux because it was it's the seventh year. Hold on, hold on, let me tell your eyeliner real quick and then we'll tell the story. Many, many minutes later. Open. Open your eyes. Ah uh, yeah, they <laughs> You're are like, open. <laughs> Look at this thing. You're like, oh, I'm gonna slay. Mm -hmm. I'm Gucci. Look at my hair. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I hid my bun this time. Look, look How fun my. is that? They that didn't like the back of my hair. <laughs> oh yeah, the last video. Yeah. They, they called you out. So the back of my hair is actually done today because I have to go in the office now. This is so hard to do with you yip yapping. Fine, it doesn't matter. See, mine's not perfect either. We just blend. <laughs> oh, that's not a well. <laughs> we just blend it out. It's that is fine. not okay. It's just tell your story. What we do in the workshop is teach people, one, the power of persuasive storytelling. So this year, it was live for the first time in since 2019. It's great. So a few of us that were facilitating it told our stories very quickly. Sam talked about the power of persuasive storytelling and then people were able to raise their hands and tell their story. That's bad. <laughs> what did you do? She said, wow, that's bad. That's it's fine, what? just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix this. I can fix this. I told you guys I'm not a f***ing makeup artist. I don't do this shit. It's fine. Too much for my Oh, stands. sorry. Sorry, Mumsy. Sorry. Okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. Be a smoky look. You're gonna be like Kris Jenner. Not me making Kardashian references every two seconds. Sorry. I was walking around helping people with their stories and one person said, is it okay if I tell a story about someone else? I would like to tell the story of friends of mine who have a non-binary child of course and you know what because you were so friendly to talk to me right away I'm gonna I'm gonna have you go first called on this person and they stood up and we handed them a mic and am I supposed to open my eyes now? you can open your eyes don't look at it though it's kind of embarrassing I'm gonna fix it don't don't judge it I gotta clean it up a little I told bit you we should only do one side we're not doing one side you want to be anyways just just tell your story right now. they said their names and of course we were using our pronouns and they said their pronouns were they them and this was the first time they've ever shared their they them pronouns in front of 175 strangers at this huge summit so it was unplanned couldn't have planned it better myself amazing and then we had stories from other parents and people who have chosen families and all sorts of really great stories. Nation of stories, you know, it was mm -hmm. good parents, people that were just coming out, people that have been out for a while. We made a lot of friends. Yeah. Oh, he fixed it. Yeah, it looks better, right? Yeah. Who did we see there? Who did we see at the gala that presented that you were so obsessed with? I'm not obsessed with anyone. <laughs> Only you, Samantha Lux. Yeah, T, period. I heard that today. Did you? I, uh, yeah. We, we, we Gucci. That's what I heard. We today. Gucci? Yeah, so I learned that today. Yeah. So, milk. anyway. Oh, go ahead. Can I do my job? The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Thank you so much, Milk Cosmetics. So, I might be close to being a stalker. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would call me a stalker. I adore a look. 
so I follow everything they do. I think they're my friend because I've met them personally four times and they recognize me, so I think we're friends now. Go see their comedy and poetry. It's it's, it's hilarious, first like, of all, so funny. I would, <laughs> I would go every time that it's close to my house, to be honest. But I said, let's go over and say hi behind, kind of behind the, behind the little corner. So we'll just go up and peek around the corner and say hello so that they know we're here. And Sam said, no, no, no. I said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So we yes. went over there and I peeked around the corner and of course politely waited for the person who was getting their picture done and said, hello. And they looked at us and they said, oh, I see you two everywhere. You look so beautiful. <laughs> and I was get like, away from oh. us, you stalker. <laughs> no, no. I was like, yeah. So, yeah, we also saw Laverne Cox speak. Yeah, so that I'm was kind of cool. mattifying, poor feeling. <laughs> Me just trying to do a makeup tutorial. It's fine, nobody cares. Continue. We saw Laverne Cox. She was amazing. Also, she looked fabulous. She had a white, well, off light winter white blazer type of dress, or I think it was a dress, with black gloves. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, makeup. But black. she was so far away, I could hardly see her. So, tried to get closer, but you know. Stocking is a problem. <laughs> we also saw a really fun singer. You were so fun. So Netta sang. I think I got foundation. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, and I know Super the word. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That was so fun. Is that a real song? Like she really I think that's her song. Yeah. This looks a little problematic. <laughs> <laughs> you said, am I getting it canceled? My uh, second ever YouTube video. Where's my sponge? I have other YouTube videos that you just don't know I have. Where's my sponge? I might even have a fans only page. You don't know. <laughs> First of all, it's only fans. Second of all, you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I really liked Netta a lot. And of course, Alok's speech was just amazing. And Again. you went on the Avatar ride in Magic Kingdom. <gasps> I did. You are not a ride kind of girl, are you? No, but that's a that's a virtual ride. So if I don't like what's happening, I can close my eye. I don't know if you've all been on Avatar, but it's an amazing ride. It's probably one of the best rides in all of the Disney park. The queue line was a mile, at least a mile. Yeah. And you would, it was the least amount of time you spend in line with little kids in hot Florida waiting for that ride. The least amount of time is three hours. I'm like, damn, I would not. Who told you that? that? Kate. She's real Disney. Like she'll go at six in the morning for that ride. Three hours. She said real Disney. She said she's a fan. She's a fan. Three hours. More moments later. Why would you do that? Look at the back of this girl's hair. Because your people, your friends, they would call me out. It's so funny. I see the back of your head right now. Anyway, as an <laughs> anyway, as an it's so important. You bitch, you ally bitches. You need to learn. Get to watch joy through other people's eyes as an ally and just kind of sit back. Oh God, did you hear about that ally? That freaking. Good shot for a flag. That shit's crazy. First of all, RIP. And she was just a, trying to be an ally and put a flag out. Right, literally. Just trying to show support and that's, people are that mad about us that they'll do that to somebody that's just trying to support the community. Little town of, you know, art, artist types of stores. and That's so hard because it's like, as somebody in the community, you want to say like, when you get pushback from people, you want to stay strong as an ally. You want to support the community as a strong- And look what happens. Right, and so it's it's hard to like tell people to be so strong when like, obviously we don't want anybody to get, to get hurt. That's never, that's never okay. Be challenging and scary to be an ally, especially an ally parent. Oh. And I know how scary it is for me, but then mm. having like the loss of sense of control almost because it's your kid, you can't control your kid, you can't control their safety, but. And it's your job. Keep your kids healthy, happy, and safe. And Carrie went. Um, we love Carrie. Shout, shout out to out Carrie. Carrie. Wednesday's Beauty Pink Powder. Shout out to Patrick Star again. This powder is so freaking cute. It's so pretty. It's literally pink. Oh, and you know what Sam got? So I went to the store when we were in Animal Kingdom, and Sam has never had girl Mickey ears because she would have been really little when we went to Disney. If we went at all with you, I don't remember. So I bought her. Girl. Look how freaking cute. Are the cutest thing you ever saw? I wore them and, to the gala. It was so perfect. And perky. she wore them to the gala. Yeah, with a blue sparkly dress, kind of like this sequin Z material. And then these cute little ears. Quarantina was there. They have up their drag game, girl. It started at the beginning of the pandemic, right? To provide some entertainment remotely for um, the employees at Dell. And the president came. Everybody came to these events where Quarantina showed up. And they had never done it before. They are totally Gucci. Totally Gucci. Is that a real thing? I mean, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. That's kind of cute. Just a little blush. Yeah. You slay. Totally slay. 
Are you gonna put highlighter on me? Yeah, I'm gonna at some point. No, that yellow thing, is that a yellow no. hole? Oh. No, it's mascara. Here, can you curl your eyelash? I don't really need to, this, ooh, this is hard. Can we just skip the lash? Yeah. No, we don't want to do lashes, but they look really good. You have really nice eyelashes anyways. She uses the teeth, you guys, so. Oh, now I should get, I, I can't curl them. It's too hard. Why? You literally curl your eyelashes every day. Yeah, but I look in a mirror. I don't look in a- Don't judge the mirror I have. It's from a long time ago. <laughs> I think it looks great. She said, look how awful it looks. Like, bitch, are you kidding me? That's well, what I look like every day. You're joking? I don't like that look. I don't like <laughs> She said, yeah, and you're butt ugly too. <laughs> no, you do it. Okay. The one size mascara, so good. You want to do your own mascara too? Yeah, because I'm... Ooh, Here, use the mirror. Oh, yeah. She Sorry. begged me to make this video, you guys. And now she's like, oh, I'm so tired. I want to go to bed. I want to take this makeup off. And you begged me. I did not. <laughs> My fans begged, though. Everybody loves me. I love them too. Hard thing, you go like that. Oh, can we do a shout out to Lisa? <laughs> yeah, shout out Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> this video is just full of shout outs. Yeah, it's fun, we it's love fun. Lisa. Well, your fans said that my lips were too light and to teach me a, a better lip color. Well, you did your own lips last time. Oh God, it feels like you're doing a wrong thing. Like this. I'm just drawing on this bitch. This is what I do with myself. Make up the lines. Why are you laughing? I have something to say. I have something to say. Well, who says you have to color in the lines? That doesn't look good. Hold on, let me fix you up. A oh, girl and then it made a circle. Yeah, people love little trends like that. It's mm. like the same thing, but just less definition. That's weird. Do you ever overline? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Ooh, that's not. <laughs> you sounded like Jennifer Cole. It's kind of too bright. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mush it around a little. Mush it is not a word. I said mush it. Mm -hmm. Kind of. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> she sees you fucking it. You look so cute. Look at us. We kind of look the same. Yeah. We literally have the same face. Except your eyes are bigger. No, my eyes are smaller. No, your eyes are bigger. We have lashes on. If I had lashes on, my eyes would look more like your eyes. How cute is that? You're kind of a sleigh. You should maybe just like fix yourself a little though. I'm fixed. I even got my rainbow. My rainbow. Why are you doing She's that? so pretty. My rainbow pretty. watch on. Oh, my it changed itself. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for coming on my channel today, Mumsy. Thanks for joining, even though you forced me at gunpoint to come bring you on here. There are no guns here. That's what they think. It was a pleasure, and I really wanted to come and say hi to all of your friends. Yeah, so. you look uh, freaking beautiful, by the way. Mm. Not that you don't always, with like a little tiny little mascara, a little chapstick, but. I think a little bit too much pink here. Well, yeah, but there's cameras. You gotta do extra. It'll come off in like a sec. It's fine. <laughs> Love you, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.